Welcome everybody, this is your strategy wolf and welcome back to Old World and our uh, Carthage in the end, uh, We are in the scenarios and the first scenario of Old World in the Car settling of Carthage and we're here with King Marcus the Ambitious who is turning 40 soon and uh, yeah there's a lot of goals and ambitions around here that we should focus on and we just thought of um, yeah basically the raiders from the Libyans down here as well as we, we conquered this Bavari Bavarian, Bavarian, Bavarian site and I'm happy to settle it in two years so we get our third city out soon and then we have to consider what our next steps are um, we still have a peace with the Numidians so either we attack the Libyans down here or we have to go look out for this tea a little bit which we shall do anyways um, yeah there's stuff to do so let's just jump right in and get going and end this turn and see what happens in the next one and yeah wonderful with turning 40 we've already turned ill that's absolutely lovely and the melak the merchant has led to an event and yeah some conversion going on that's just arishtabal is Broad base of knowledge has made her at home in any debate, and even those that disagree can't help but find her eloquent. That is very nice to see. Sounds very good. So yeah, our daughter is eloquent. And oh, this this was the result from his teachings, but there's something else going on. No, from we invested into education, sorry. Melak asked Arishtabal to accompany him to the market for a lesson in money management. While browsing the stove, Melak encourages his young charge to get the best bargains. What shall he teach Arishtabal? Uh, to haggle with merchants to bring prices down or to search carefully for the very lowest price? Mm, let's give him some charisma as well. Just out of interest. And here we go. We've just done husbandry and have to consider what we need next. Free stone. These cards here, these extra boosts, uh, they only appear once. So for those, like, yeah, and not everybody knows Old World already. So we have this tech tree in here and you always get three in the offer to choose from. Uh, these other cards that you can, can consider those as cards. They go back to the deck and later they get shuffled. So these are discarded at the moment. Yes, the red ones, while these ones are still in the deck. So, and the ones you have no access to are not in the deck yet. So, those can always come back, whilst these free cards, these boosts, are there only for once and they get fully discarded if you don't pick them. Um, however, to be honest, 200 stones and... Can we actually build wonders in this scenario? I doubt it, right? There's no wonders to build from. Nope, then... Sometimes in this uh, in a normal scenario or like in a free game, it's kind of interesting to get them to rush wonders or something. But in this case, I'm fine. I don't need it that badly. So I would rather go towards other things. Um, both here, the aristocracy for the, the laws is very interesting since we need laws to also get out our garrisons soon. Same time, the walls are very interesting, and the hamlets also provide another nice income source. However, money-wise, we're looking quite well, so maybe, maybe, maybe let's strut out the ambassadors, nice. Of course, the drama is also interesting. Now let's get the aristocracy out for the moment, I prefer this one. Alright, uh, what else? We have to move some troops Back, yeah. You guys can just move. You can guys can even heal in uh, neutral territory. Very nice. And here we just have more to. Oh no, we cannot. Let's return then. Still too far away. Here we do have to do some scouting. Too far away still. Also, by the way, it's interesting mechanic like in Civilization, I think, in Humankind as well. Once you're here in the hills, you have a little bit of a higher uh, viewing range. So I really do enjoy these. Yeah, I do enjoy this like scouting when you have some like, natural things applying hand in hand. Also, in, in Humankind, for example, I do like the scouting alongside the rivers a lot. Yeah, getting distracted here, talking about 4x games in general. All right, we can tutor some guys. We have. Chuhan, uh, Zushan, our uh, tactic students, our second son, and also Mela can torture him. A torture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's also let him get him to be tutored since 
He has been uh, not tutored yet. Okay, and the other guy is busy. So, ah, we choose him because he's a general. He can't tutor anybody. Maybe we should then actually replace him with ourselves. Despite us being ill. We have the training. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. And then we should be able to also tutor her again with Balhano. Perfect. So, and we have the money and so on. Let's do that. He proved himself very well. And it's obviously also, it's a good thing, I think, if the king is having the control over his troops. All right. Let's end the year. You're... Oh god, your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near time to get your affairs in order. Really, we're gonna die that young? Uh, right. Um, is Prince Carthalo really ready to succeed us already? Or shall we... We have an eloquent, cautious lady. No, cautious, she's cautious in general. He's just courageous and Carthalo... Well, can we actually change the um, succession law if we want? If we wanted to primogeniture, well, maybe in this case, if we already know that we are about to die and we don't want to leave the empire to the youngest one, they are all the children. Maybe it would have been smart to just. Um, Change to the primogenitor. Is there any like setbacks? It basically just costs just 100 civics. Yep, let's do this. Come on, it's it's Arisha Tabal. If he ever was older, I would have like definitely not changed it. But now um, I rather have her as the successor since she's almost at least she's out of she's like. In that lessons already the other we have to write five years longer so this could lead to a real crisis so i'd rather have a good succession already and yes there we go we can found our third city and i feel like i definitely want those olives in yeah so we shall go here this is the best spot and let's not waste time i think let's fire out all these 100 trainings for force march so we can march further and we can still found this very round all right, it's the third city, and therefore it's time for us to decide on which uh, kind of family we want to support. We have the um, the traders as well as the artisans already out, so we will either bring in the statesmen or the riders. Um, what do we get over here? You get orders, specialist good costs. Unlocks decree on city and get civics when once we found it. Kind of nice. And with the riders we get a scout. Can build more mounted units. I mean this could be. Well we do have horses here. Horses here. This could be our military city. To be honest, of the statesman, I'm not such a big fan. Even though, I mean, here at the, at the coastline, these riders are kind of unnecessary uh, since they would be connected anyways. So what I'm talking about is here, um, not the Margonet, sorry. Here, the barcades that we have uh, always connected. They will be connected right now, as you see. We have, uh, by the way, yeah. For those who don't know the system yet, this is when you press B, you can see the connection. And if you have the, the, the C, this is automatically, apart from this, rivers also connect. If you don't have this, you have to add like roads. And these tiny symbols pop up at cities that are connected. And by being there, um, I think you get some growth rate and some happiness. Yeah, it looks like it. So it's a good thing to be connected. Um, anyways, back to this decision. Hey, to be honest, I would rather get the traders or the artisans ag again out, but then I think others would get kind of unhappy. Skip family seat, yeah. And I don't know when the... We're not gonna go in war, at one war with the Numidians very soon, I think. Rather with the Libyans. I don't know when the next time will is going to be when we found a city, so no. It needs to be one of those. Riders or... Statesman. Well, 
What's decree again? It's oh, you get extra. You can run decrees that give you some extra orders. To be honest, no, I'm not the biggest fan of the Statesman, so just in case, I don't know if I need really a lot of forces in this one, we'll get the Riders out, so we have also, I want to have the Barkids, of course, the Idonians. I don't, apart from Dido, I can't, Hanno and Magonit, I also know from history and the Barkids as well, so, well, we don't need, Dido has gone so quickly, we just remember her in our name and on our legacy. So let's get the Riders here and, yeah, found the next city. Hipporegius, all right, and we've got our new scout for this. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I think we've scouted most of the things already. Nevertheless, uh, um, we do need a worker, so this is going to be the first thing to build over here. Um, what else do we need to do? You guys can actually... And yeah, now we're running out of orders. Is there anything super special? You guys... Can definitely go here to the garrison and heal. And the other dudes here, come on, I move you already also in the other direction since I think this will be more important. The scouts, I can't move this turn, and we have to consider what we will or what we need to build here in Quad Hadash. Oh. And yeah, we're building a worker over there. Four cities, gem, construct, by rims, workers. Stones for specialists. Yeah, and I think it has the time has come that we get the specialist out here to in the end get more culture in and the luxury resource. Yeah, so it is the time now to get this special fisher out. Probably followed by this or then these guys. We shall see. But let's get the fisher out for the luxury good that will help us also to improve relations to at least the Magonids or in within City Squad itself, for example. It's going to uh, increase the happiness and therefore uh, fight the discontent level. All right, uh, let's then move to the next episode. After having happily these three cities out. With a mild fever and a runny nose, Queen Consort Shamshi the Swift uh, is rather ill. <laughs> uh, oh, we died, okay. Duke Cathalo is not old enough to be tutored by Cortius and King Marcos has died in the field. End of an era. Messages from the capital bring news of King Malchus, the ambitious death, all of Carthage mourns with the royal family. Hail Queen Arishtabal the new, the new and rightful Queen of Carthage. Alrighty. The burden of queens. Students chatter in the hallways as you sit quietly upon your bed at the academy, wiping away tears. With the death of King Malchus the Ambitious, fate trusts you upon the throne. You no longer have time to your, for your studies as the business of ruling Carthage consumes every spare hour and the coronation arrives within the week. Stealing yourself to bear the burden of leadership, you decide you must... What do we want to be? This one is kind of interesting as a commerce, as an orator, you could, we could, as a leader, recruit tribal mercenaries uh, with legitimacy. This is a little bit annoying, so, <laughs> however, since this is kind of what we want to do, right? We want to get probably like new Numidian troops that we can use with the Libyans, I'm not sure. Morning. No, this is bad. This is just bad. I mean, with the constant XP growth, kind of interesting to be honest, also. Oh, only for four years, okay. Commander, no. I don't want to be a commander. I don't want to be a schemer. Let's make let's make us an orator orator. Speak with such eloquence that even the mountain weep. Uh, we we are eloquent, right? So let's do this. Time passes quickly. Duke Carthalo is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate Carthalo? He can become a philosophy student, I think. And oligarch Amelik the scholar meets with you to discuss court matters as he has recently taken up the mantle of family head of Magonids in the wake of Ildash of Quadhash's death. Uh, who was my mother, right? 
Oh, she's super long dead for long, no? He converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My priestess Ildas was non-committal about your relationship based upon all the correspondence I have read. I came here to see for myself what sort of person you are. How shall you rep this, uh, respond to this? Um, I'll try my best and leave the rest to fate. I'm a humble servant who labors for the good of the people. Requires Queen Arishtabal is charming. Oh, we are charming. Or is charming coming from the eloquent or just due to the high charisma we do have? Um, I could be a loyal patron of the Magonids if we could reach an understanding. No, we don't have to influence them. Them, them are very, very happy. I'm a humble servant, of course. All right. Whew. Anything else? How old are we? 15 right now. Can't marry at the moment. Um, yeah, let's see what else is out there to do. Uh, normal stuff, I guess. We just can... Yeah, I wanted to... The workers incoming. No worries. Um, let's nevertheless keep... Build them the pasture already. Then the workers can other, build other things over here. Then we've got the troops that should potentially move down here and heal a bit. We've got these dudes. Oh, that have to move. Why can you only move so little? Um, Alright, maybe we can... No, we have a lot of training, so actually let's promote them a bit. I find tough quite useful, especially because there will always be some kind of damage, especially for melee units, I think. Who's, who's commanding them? My mother, right? And then we've got just like, that scout. And we can harvest the ore next time. Yeah, well, we have also got the, the scout over here, but yeah, we will need him probably for scouting the Mediterranean once we've got the tech for that. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Melak the merchant has tutored Prince Sushan, improving his discipline. Get some s discipline and an event. And we've got the three workers out. The lion. In a stroke of good luck, Baal Hanu has come into possession of a lion named Oliver, a rare exotic creature from the south. He wishes to use the beast in one of Arishtabal's science lessons, but the girl is reluctant. All it took was one look at the cat's enormous teeth. Shall we insist on the first-hand experience? Um, I can't... Timid is, like, really scared, right? Um... What do we get? Wisdom or co command her to examine the line personally? You get courage and foolishness. Um, okay. Now I think I'd rather be... She can be a little bit timid, that's fair. We're not the big warriors here. We're more like eloquent and wise. That's cool. Uh, citizens of Quartalash who work the lands are very day heroes. The toil and sweat will be foundation of our greatness. Beyond our current borders lie even more lands to seize and use. Control reworkers. It's done. Very nice. Um, and we get the next events inspired by the court. As a young queen, you realize you have much to learn about the ways of the court. The subtle ways of power have always drawn your regard. As a little child, you would watch the courtiers gossip and debate in hushed tones, punctuated with vehement gestures and noble disdain. Now you find yourself wishing to learn the finer arts of the court. I want a pony and a castle and a three foot long sword. Uh, okay. <laughs> Spoiled. Man plan and uh, man plan and good love. Pious. Ooh. Why would I take this weakness? <laughs> okay, we can become pious as a governor. Ooh. Such a good governor. We need to probably go govern Carthage soon. State religion's bad chance, that's interesting. Then we should also uh, probably adapt it. Or we become humble. Oh, more discipline and more... More discipline and more wisdom. Or what do we have here? Like just m even more charisma. Are we so pious? 
to be honest, let's uh, like I bring up an instrument that I used for Crusader Kings. I will roll a dice because I don't see a concrete. Uh, I will not do it as often as in uh, Crusader Kings, and I will not, definitely not take the first one since it's just bad for us, and I don't want to punish us. So one, two, three, or four to six over here, and we roll a three, so it is settled. Actually, we don't become humble; we become pious. Uh, so Queen Arashtabal, the new is very into the gods they do offer us a piece of a no i don't it's not good enough no they are actually weaker interesting so the libyans are our next victim i guess signs of magic story about the strange powers of the scientist balhanna the scientist have reached the court according to the rumors he has been seen in several locations at once can speak to creatures in their natural tongues and is known to make astounding predictions there's a rumbling of dissent among his followers. If Balhano, the scientist, is seen as a divine figure, what is to keep him from the throne? He stays and must be watched. If she becomes foolish. Oh, that's also really not nice. Well, such behavior is either madness or treason. We are pious, we don't want to... We are taking... No, we imprison him. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, wasn't he tutoring somebody? But, you know, now he's imprisoned. Um, There's gonna be an interesting development, for sure. Alright. A lot of events coming in. And she can be tutored. And that's definitely what we're gonna do. As long as we're still young and learning, we will get some tutorship. It is important. And okay, let's see what else is there to do. We've got the workers. Um, now we've got even the, the, the local workers, which will do very fine. Mm. But there's nothing to work on, to be honest, so much. So maybe let's get here this mine out. Also, once again, to bolster here this mine a little bit. I don't have other big plans and the quarry here has been finished. Let's get the pasture out here. Pasture. I think pasture, not pasture. Here we do not have an available um, commander, but it's just like promote them before we strike on the uh, um, on the Libyans from trees. Nah, tough. Once again, tough is really nice. I really do like tough. Then we've got these troops that can march down and also be promoted once more, maybe. Yeah, we also make them to herbalists, and I think they already can. She can heal anywhere, and then the healing ability will be quite good. Oh, actually, our horsebane, horsebane. They have these dudes have a lot of cavalry, I think, the Libyans. So let's get horsebane. It's even even nicer. Here we can harvest the ore. Let's go and... Okay, our orders are over. And Hadrimentum uh, needs some production. Let's get um, a specialist out there, I think. And let's do it... First, first the growth, then the culture, I think. So, efficient it is. Especially in a trader city, we will get even more bonus on the net. So, this is absolutely worth doing. And there we are uh, once again in sec 75 at the end of the turn. No events this one. All right. Um, can add the general the uh, our brother, I guess, in the end. And let's promote once more. Also, you guys get the horse bane. And then I think we're kind of ready to attack the Libyans next turn with these two warriors. I don't know how many are following, um, but they were predicted to be weaker, so why not? I think it's a good idea. The Nubians are still at peace, so I hope they can hold this. Um, okay, you can skip this turn. Uh, you guys can... And I think I try to support everything a little bit with this scout, if I can. And yeah, just scouting here. In you guys' best case, should be ready here to go 
discover Malta and Sicily once we've got some shipping going on, I guess. This is, or maybe here for just scouting. Getting to shipping should be actually our next goal in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of like technological advance. Let's end the year. And we are, e not we, our brother is eager for combat. Officers at the Academy of Tactics report that Sushan seems restless, unhappy with lessons and theoretical maneuvers. One day you receive a message from him. It is not a request so much as an order. Send me to be with my fellow troops. This is where I belong, not here with wastrels and, cower and cowards. Finish your studies and you will, then we will talk. Uh, put that energy into your training. I cannot stand in the way of such seal. Becomes a soldier. All this here, I mean, I'm strict. I can be a soldier. He's, uh, let's allow him to be a soldier. And oh, we've grown, uh, uh, adult now. Interesting. Playing our dues, uh, paying our dues. The time has come again for Carthage to send tribute to Tyre. What shall we do? Our next shipment consist of, uh, yeah, come on. We have enough money. Let's do it. Especially in our situation. Well, good to see. Is our brother now already... No, he's not grown up yet. Next year, next year. Alright, uh, let's see what we can do in the meantime. Um, we should definitely... Ah, we are not, con have not yet been converted to the paganism. That's interesting. So, actually we are pious, so definitely we'll do this. Then we will actually adopt the state religion. Oh, we need... Uh, okay, we need divine rule first. We can't do this yet. Which is a shame, but I would have loved to do that. Then we have not the best relations to the bar kids, which will leave me with the idea of getting a family marriage with the bar kids, I think. This should be very helpful for us. Then we've got... Yeah, now we can actually consider or... Let's do it and declare war upon the Libyans. The time has come. And yeah, let's get going actually. Boom and done. Actually, what a strike. Among the prisoners in the Libyan camp, our units discover a prominent scholar, a tutor of the ruling family. This man, Patatua the Libyan, could be of great value if placed in a position of influence. Should some in court advise caution? Should barbarians allow to, to spread knowledge? Um, is he very competent? Yeah, he's just 30 and he's a scholar, so... Wait. But we could get... Local ascetic permanent buff. Okay, yeah. Uh, let him elevate those beneath us. Then let's do this. Let's let him settle down here and not come to the court. This is way better. Uh, yeah. Two per year permanently. That's very nice. I mean, it's also one that only 100 scenario thing, but yeah, still. And nice. We already conquered the next city site. So you guys should be yeah five rounds here for settler so this will be the next task for Carthage once again and we should nice get the next post out uh, down here unless the massive counter offensive coming to hit us hard let's check this there there they, they are well it's not the massive counter effect uh, offensive that we've been looking for or not looking for but we were fearing uh, we've been tutored once again, getting more discipline. Very nice. Um, our mother has died in the fields. Okay, people are dying very young. And we've got a new patriarch head of paganism. We've got also a new marriage proposal for us. Two young, handsome men. Oh, no, they're not just not so young at all. Why are they so old? Um, well, I mean, it's more about the air, so I'm happy to get them. Um, see that kind of fits as well I guess so he is a good fighter 
and we would get so with him now let's do it systematically now the younger we get the barkid opinion we just always get barkid opinion and he's charismatic and courageous and here we've yeah I think we'll take now well, the younger. He's like the better general, and we need somebody to fight for us because we are more the city person. All right. Um, then we get Tim. Let's have the tech tree we do in a second. We have the next event incoming. Oh no, that's actually what we're talking about. So let's have a look at the tech tree. We need. Um, yeah, we need navigation. So labor force will be the next one. Actually, let's put this as a target. So if you hit some of these, you will always see in the selection which uh, technologies uh, you can choose from will actually help out on the way to there. So this is good to see. Um, we also got the ambassador. All right, all right, right. How much citizenship do we have? We can adopt laws. The first one we can do. So all cities can build farms on March. Capital city plus two. Kind of nice. Or vassalage. No, we go definitely for centralization and also fits us better, I think, than at the moment we have. Like everything should be for this in Carthage. There we go. Yes. Centralization out, despite the bar kids would be more a fan of the others, but I just married someone from the bar kids, so this is okay. Oh, the Hanuits are actually not that happy. Oh, come. Okay. Anyways, let's have a look. Maybe now it's changed if we bring some ambassador in. Um, yeah, I started the orator. Why not, actually? Also, since we just saw that she, they want somebody in a high position, bring her as our as ambassador. ambassador. She already likes that a lot. Good to see. All right, let's continue down here at the front lines. And let's just... Take out these dudes here. Boom. We're really effective whereas these warriors are amazing versus horses. Let's harvest the ore, ore, ore over here. And let's get some... Harvest the incense. And I get some insights who's coming but it looks like this is halfway secured. This is very nice to see. Um, here we go with idle units. And this is what we wanted. Here we can now, since we have one law, we can actually build the garrisons, which is very helpful. Where do we want is the question. Mm, is it good here? Oh. Oh, you idiot. Oh, well. I wanted to build the shrine here in between and I wasted basically 10 gold. I mean, it's not massive, but this was stupid. Uh, anyhow... I don't know if I want to deconstruct and correct this. I kind of thought it's a tiny mis mistake that we can live with. Um, let's just build the... Here we cannot build because we have to remove the scrubs. I'm kind of indecisive. Let's quickly... Uh... Because the Garrison provides also for barracks and ranges some adjacency bonuses. So it would be better over here somehow. Or here. Well, then we do it next turn. I can wait one more turn, it's fair. And then we used all of our orders. And I think we kind of went already over the time I normally spend for the half an hour I spent for an episode. So this is also a good time to end this one with our Queen Arishtabal, the new coming of age, just married to a 12-year-older man. But I hope the marriage is going to go well. <laughs> we shall see. As long as they have kids, everything is fine. And yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I hope you like this one. Um, we're gonna end here. Leave me a like in a description, a subscription if you haven't yet, since I profit or the channel, it costs you nothing and I am getting highly motivated. Thank you very much. It helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, let me leave me a comment if you have something on your mind. And apart from this, and see you next time when we continue here with our Carthaginians by your strategy wolf.